Hi everybody, this week finds us in Wharton Pharmacy in Oxfordshire. Uh, owner Duncan Rand has kindly allowed us to film in his pharmacy. But as the lockdown eases, having a working credible system will be vital to allow other parts of the NHS to deal with the elective surgery backlog. And with many GP surgeries still dealing remotely with the public, the Community Pharmacy Consultation Service will be key, as Simon Stevens mentioned last week. So the MPA is having ongoing discussions with the government about the role pharmacy can play as some of the rules are relaxed, particularly in delivering antibody testing using the clinical skills that many pharmacists have. This is part of a wider strategy to put pharmacy on the map, making sure that the value we provide as a network of 11,500 healthcare professionals is recognised. We want to see pharmacy recognised as being at the heart of the NHS, and recent comments from Matt Hancock and Sir Simon Stevens and the significant press coverage we at the MPA have recently had suggest this is starting to happen. But we need to do more. So the MPA has commissioned a significant piece of consumer research to demonstrate to the government how much the communities we work in value the face-to-face -face relationship with their pharmacy and how much more pharmacies could do within the NHS. I look forward to sharing this with you in the near future. While the sector is gaining greater recognition, we still need a sustainable funding solution for both COVID and the longer term. We're pushing relentlessly on this. Thank you for watching. Thanks very much.